love Louis love Tomlinson. Me. It's one of the best live shows I've ever been to. Amazing. It was incredible. The energy was just really great. And I think New York won. There I was. February 11th, 2022, on a Friday night, immersed in a crowd of Louis Tomlinson fans. The lights go dark. Suddenly, the fans, they chant, Louis, Louis, So I woke up early that morning and it was a spontaneous decision to pour water on my head and I said I need to go on every ticket website and see what these Louis Thomason prices look like. Money, he got money, get it all for him. And I said, I'm gonna spend my money on this show. I really wanna go. So I got my outfit together and I went to New York City. I ended up getting near the concert venue Now, the moment I stepped foot in Manhattan, I noticed a crowd of Louis Tomlinson fans waiting outside the venue, and I thought to myself, how long have these fans been camping out here? So, I had to get some answers. You ain't got the answers! Next to the concert venue was a Sam Ash. I walked inside, and I had a Louis Tomlinson mission on my mind. And you know those Sam Ash employees only want to talk about their instruments. You in a fusion? I don't really know what that is either. I, I was asking because I, I play fusion guitar. But I spotted one employee and he had a lot of knowledge on these Louis Tomlinson fans and their dedication to camping. This is someone that's been witnessing this take place from the very start. What have you noticed? Uh, I've noticed it last night around uh, 6 o'clock. It started out in that caged area over there. I came back here. It um, went around the block. I turned that entire street into a Louis Tomlinson block party. I did interviews, I was talking to the fans, the moms, the dads, I did sing-alongs, I was handing out roses. It was a beautiful moment. We have a lot of content coming soon from that morning into the afternoon. So make sure you are subscribed and like this video because that will be coming very soon. You are not going to want to miss any of that. Young man! <laughs> But then it was time. It was time to get to the front of the Hammerstein Ballroom. And when you get inside the concert venue, they were handing out free water bottles. This is the first concert I've ever been to where they hand out free waters, which is such a smart and generous move because, you know, fans get dehydrated. And then a band comes on stage by the name of Sunroom. Now, I did some research. Sunroom. They are a band from Southern California. Um, they have a, a bit of an old school, maybe 70s surfers look. Felt like I was in Southern California when they performed. They were amazing. Shout out to Sunroom. They call Sunroom, right? Shout out to Sunroom. They killed it. Opener 10 out of 10. And mind you, that was the most hype I've ever seen a crowd for an opening act. Louis Tomlinson gets on stage. It was a beautiful moment, and he performs my favorite song from Walls. We made it. Sounds like a victory lap. And for Louis, I think this tour is exactly that. You know, Louis, he's been obviously in One Direction and he's been on these huge tours, but this is his own solo tour where his name 
is highlighted. It's just him. And that is the beauty in the moment of We Made It being performed first. The band was rocking out. Shout out to Michael and Isaac on guitar, Steve on drums, Matt on bass, and Zach on keys. And, of course, the fans. And when I say y'all sounded amazing, there was one point where Luby walked off the stage and took a little bit of a break, but the crowd never stopped. In fact, you know, shout out to Elliot. My favorite moment was definitely when we all started singing No Control, because that was just kind of amazing. <laughs> That was literally one of the highlights of the night. Like, that just felt like a huge party. And, you know, for a lot of the fans, they really appreciated that. You know, of course, I spoke to a few of the fans towards the end of the show, and many of them said that that was one of the highlights of the night. Definitely through the dark. Like, I'm an OG 1D fan since I was fucking, like, 12 or 13. I could have cried. Like, it was so good. It was so fucking good. I love that he, like, gives... Gives the moments to the OGs out there, and like it was so much nostalgia, and it was amazing. Drag me down, like literally peed my pants. It was incredible. Shout out to Kathy and Julia. I met them at the concert. They had some amazing energy the entire night. Like, literally, I'm talking, they were on 10 the whole night. Like, I would definitely go to a concert with them. I think it's been about six and a half years since I've toured America. Never done it on my own. And every time I've ever been here, you guys have made me feel incredibly welcome. I appreciate every single one of you. Another thing about Louis is that he has all these moments where he shows his gratitude and humility by saying thanks to the fans and the crowd and, you know, reassuring that he would be nowhere without the support that he has around him. And I thought that was really beautiful as well. I can't tell you how fucking good it feels to be in New York with Beyonce. I couldn't do shit without you, Lord. What do you all think the number 28 means? I noticed it on his stage and the whole time I was asking everyone around me, but no one gave me a clear answer. So I'm really curious. I know that sometimes people try to box him in as just a writer. He's an amazing writer, which he is. You know, his literature is on point. But when it comes to his vocals, the entire night, he was able to power through these songs. He sounded amazing. And then you get one of my favorite moments from the night where Michael and Isaac on guitar, they hit the... And shout out to the drummer because in the chorus alone, there's all these different pace changes. The drums slowed down a little bit during the part where you have Louis singing, I'm wasting my time when it was always you. 
And then when the part comes in, should I never let you go? Oh, oh, should I never let you go? Oh, my baby. Oh, oh, oh. It starts to pick up a whole lot more. And you can see the fans feeding off the energy. Okay, another highlight from the night, two of us. During this song, Louis Thomason definitely pours out his emotions. But you once told me, don't give up. You can take it day by day. And when you pan all the way to the left of the stage while Louis is singing that, you actually see an orchestra section. The world's smallest violin. That's a serious. I know. This really is the world's smallest violin. So I will keep you safe. So if you were wondering why a little bit of a tear was falling down the side of your cheek, it was because you had them sad violins to the side of the stage. I didn't notice it at first, but then I'm like, why am I getting so damn emotional? Man, I cried because of the story. I got allergies, <laughs> but that was pretty sad. Now, Too Young definitely boosted my serotonin. This is such a feel-good song. It's very playful at heart. And it kind of reminds you of just being at a campfire, roasting marshmallows, and reminiscing on great memories that you had when you were younger. And that is the beauty of the song. So when you see the crowd, I noticed a lot of people were waving around their hearts in the air. I find that to be incredible on camera. Wish I could have seen it all. Sorry that I had to talk Now, in 2021, I did a reaction to Copy of a Copy, and I said, if he goes on tour, this is going to be the number one song I would want to hear. And when he started, young man, us, you're crying, dry your tears away. so damn happy man this is such a great live performance uh the guitar solo towards the end absolutely amazing A powerful outer body experience level of amazingness and that's not a damn word now there's one song on walls that for some reason I've been asleep I have been hibernating on this song that is blasphemous. How oh. dare you? How dare you say such a thing? And I am ashamed to say it because this song is amazing and I didn't realize it until I was at the damn concert. It was so bad to the point, like, I pride myself on knowing the lyrics to the songs when I'm at the concert. I hate to be that person that's just like, la, 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 la. habits. How did I not know habits? I never listened to that song. I swear, I do not listen to that song. I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was a skip. 
Now, why did no one tell me that wasn't a skip? Bitch, you better be joking. When the crowd was singing this song word for word, mm. word for Shit. word, bar for bar, I felt like I had to be a part of it, but I couldn't because I didn't know the damn song. I felt left out. That was just beautiful. And the crowd, like, y'all sounded so damn good. Someone who had a Pink Floyd shirt on, and she was clearly knowledgeable of, of older music as well, so she's been to many concerts in her past, but she was explaining that her highlight was just the fans and the unity in the show. The thing that I like about it is that it brought everybody together. The entire place had a great vibe and everybody was dancing, everybody was having a good time, and everybody had a really good vibe. So that's the part that I like the most. All together, New York. Tell me, tell me, tell me, Clearly, this is the greatest video on the internet, so I'm sitting here waiting for you to subscribe and like the video. Why haven't you subscribed yet? And turn post notifications on. I'm sitting here waiting. Now, one song I do know is Defenseless. Um, that's one of my favorites. Uh, the buildup of that song, the chorus. I don't know if I ever like explain how much that song means to me, but specifically the bridge when he sings, I'm too tired to be tough. I'm tired of this shit. I just want to be loved by you. I'm just so done with having my guard up and always being in this, I guess, fight mode to fight whatever it is, fight your dreams, your passion, love, and you're just done. All you want to do is just be at peace that moment of, I guess, realization um, or a revelation is just such a, a, a pure moment. Now, when you look into the crowd and you see the people waving, you see the pride flags, you see the uh, the sunflowers, of course, you see these roses all throughout the crowd. And I was the one handing those roses out, so I'm really proud to know that people were putting the roses that I gave them onto the stage. And I actually captured a few moments where the fans were just all on one page. Like this moment right here when everyone's waving. Also, I want to shout out these two fans right here. I, I did not get their names, and I'm really mad because they were absolutely awesome, super kind, and they had the Louis dolls, and <laughs> just hear some footage of them with the Louis dolls. We bought this 10 years ago because we're giant One Direction fans, and we're so glad that Louis is finally back on tour so we can support him. We love Louis love Tomlinson. Him. If y'all see them in the comment section, Show them love, like they're awesome. And one song I was really looking forward to hearing at this concert was Only For The Brave. Um, This is one of the fan favorites. Um, Everyone in the building knew the lyrics to this song, singing it at the top of their lungs. Just looking at the flags in the crowd, 
Um, that was to me the highlight of that moment. It wasn't so much Luby. Luby himself was already amazing. The band sounded incredible. But at that point in the concert, this was the fans having their moment. It's a church of burnt romances and I'm too far gone to pray. It's a solo song and it's only for the brave. You know, and when you put that into perspective, they say that the strongest battles are given to the people that can handle and persevere through it. Um, like it's all meant to be. It's all destiny in the end of the day. So even if you're going through something, you can brush your shoulders off and say, you know what? This this life that I'm living, it's it's a solo song, sure. But it's one that I can handle because I'm strong enough to do so. Um, and that is a beautiful message. And also, there's one person that was on the balcony. They had a only for the brave pride uh, flag. They were rocking out the whole night. Main character energy. You know, Luby had a few more moments in the concert where he, you know, definitely addressed the crowd. And, and again, that humility was there. I'm trying to work this shit out in my brain. How the fuck did this lad from Doncaster get on It's thanks to every single one of you. If you're bored of me saying thank you, tough shit, because it goes all show long. Um, and I guess it being in a very small venue, you know, and not necessarily a stadium that Louis probably used to, it was awesome because he could actually see everyone's face and and really like absorb everyone's energy. And I think there's something powerful um, about that. And last but not least, you had Kill My Mind. My God, <laughs> the energy went like literally I was I thought it was a damn earthquake and we don't get earthquakes in New York City, but I'm standing there and I'm actually holding on to things like I'm like, wait, hey, hold up. One of the guitarists, he put the guitar around his neck and he was he was doing his thing. I, I don't know how he did it. I don't think his neck is safe. I, are you okay? If, if guitarist, if you're watching this, okay? I don't, I forgot which one it was. I don't know if it was uh if it was Michael or Isaac, but if you're watching this, or maybe it was the bassist, okay? But if you're watching this, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Are you done? Are, are you done? Oh, I forgot to mention Walls. I forgot to mention Walls. Of course, that's the title track of the album. Um, They had the little stringy things in the air. Everyone was, you know, singing along to that. to say it's not a new york concert unless two things happen at the end it's, it's the perfect mixture the perfect blend post concert depression and frank sinatra new york new york those two things go together <laughs> like the post concert depression hits the moment the main act leaves the stage goodbye bye louis i love you <laughs> and then next thing you know dun 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 dun, dun i'm in new york if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere, whatever that shit says. Okay, but at that point, we're pissed off. Why? Because we want the concert to continue going on. But nonetheless, I was satisfied. Beautiful concert. One of my favorites. Intimate setting. If there's one word I can use to describe Louis Tomlinson and his concert, it's passion. Louis Tomlinson is passionate. And you get that the moment you see him step foot on stage. 
the way he interacts with the crowd, the way he screams on the top of his lungs, cursing and just being in the spur of the moment, not necessarily thinking about what he will say, but what he feels. When I got home, I immediately try to channel my inner Louis Tomlinson. New York City, it feels fucking amazing to be here. Thanks to all of you. I'm Louis fucking Tomlinson. And Louis, the band, the fans, the whole moment, the whole day, was beautiful, man. And I can't wait to continue to give y'all more content from this iconic night. And I actually want to end off with a subscriber of the Anthony Aiken Jr. channel and a Louis Tomlinson fan who put it perfectly how the night was. So many thoughts. I don't know where to begin. This was the best thing ever. He's outdone himself again. And I think New York won. New York energy. There's nothing like it. It was amazing. I loved it so much. I thought it was really amazing. I think it's one of the best live shows I've ever been to. I feel like Louis really put it on. He performed for us and it was fucking amazing. Really incredible. Like we were in the back, still so much energy. Just like really, like you could feel everybody was really vibing with it. It was incredible. It was really good. Uh, the, the energy was just really great. <laughs> Everyone stay tuned. Next up, we have the Louis Thomason fan trivia video. It's iconic. And then after that, there's another iconic video that I can't even tell y'all about. It's the most legendary thing I've done in life, okay? And it happened on this day with the Louis Tomlinson fans and some more that I can't speak too much about. So all, I'm not even going to give y'all a date. I'm not going to tell y'all when that video is coming. All I'm going to say is subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications on, thumbs this video up right now, and be on the lookout. If y'all want to hint, Follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, Anthony96JR. And as always with my videos, we end off with a hug. Bring it in.